In this episode of turning Lego into something a little more dangerous, I made an air gun using Lego pneumatics. And then, because my home really doesn't need defending, I proceeded to wreck the contents of my apartment instead. So, let's see just how much power we can get out of Lego pneumatics. First, I want to know the best way of producing a strong burst of air. So, I'm going to start by seeing if we can shoot a projectile using this Lego tank to store some of the air and then release it through this valve. To hold the pneumatic hosing in place, these little Lego rubber thingies work well. They also help to make a seal with our barrel, which is just a thick see-through plastic drinking straw. I'm making this projectile out of a shoelace, and while I'm just testing, I'm going to keep these things non-lethal so I don't pin myself. Okay, let's wreck some stuff. That was pathetic. I think we need more air. This guy should have a lot more air to push through. Okay, now let's wreck some stuff. Hmm, I had higher hopes for this. I'm interested to know the speed of the air here. This Aminop... 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 Fucking anemometer. This anemometer will let me see how fast the air is. It looks like it's averaging around 8 kilometers an hour. My suspicion here is that the valve is just not letting enough air through quickly enough. Let's see if we can completely block airflow by just crimping the pipe. Huh, yeah, it seems like we can. And if I release it, yeah, that's a lot more promising. Let's see the airspeed for this version. Hmm, this is averaging around 60 to 70% higher than the valve. Here's a visual representation of the difference in power between the valve and crimping the pipe. This frame I've built here will have the panel fall over if enough air is pushed against it. Now if I pop this tire on top, it'll make it just a little harder to push over. You can see here that the valve struggles to knock it down. Even if I add the big air tank here, nothing. But if I crimp the pipe and release it, bam, it's strong enough to knock it down. Now we need to fashion this thing into a, a home defense tool. This L piece will allow me to crimp and hold the pipe between it and the backstop. And once these elastic bands are in place, the mechanism will snap the hose open when the trigger is pulled. Then we'll need a handle. And then we'll need to hold the pneumatic hosing. This rubber piece here is going to have two jobs. It's gonna hold the hosing, and it'll also create a pretty crappy gasket against the straw barrel. But hey, it's better than nothing. We also need to be able to backload the feathered rounds into the barrel, so this pneumatic hosing needs to be able to slide backwards. This axle here is gonna guide it. And then we can sandwich it between the rest of the barrel assembly here. Now if we slide this back, we can insert a projectile, and then sliding it forwards will seal it against the straw. Now let's introduce the trigger assembly to the barrel assembly. And secure it with these jobbies. Then we'll want the slidey thing to hold tight against the barrel. So these bands will force them together. And now when we pull it back to add a projectile, it'll force itself back into place again. When we pop the barrel into place, a single elastic band is enough to hold it in place because, as luck would have it, the straw fits perfectly between these lift arm pieces. And then lastly, to really make this thing look the part, let's stick on the compressor and the tank. This pipe here is the output, and we can crimp it here between the L piece and the backstop, and then pulling the trigger releases the pipe immediately. And then over here is where we can stick our projectiles. Speaking of projectiles, here I used a Technic axle and wrapped some Teflon tape around it to make it a little fatter. 
<laughs> okay, now let's wreck some stuff. Nice, now we're in business. But my forearm hurts pumping this silly blue thing. Let me triple up. And for target practice, this frame should allow me to shoot things like uh, tissue paper, regular paper, things like that. Now, while this gun is pretty accurate, I am not. So here's some god-awful marksmanship from about six yards away without looking down the sight. Oh hey, surprisingly enough, shooting from three yards makes this much easier. If your romantic candlelit evening isn't going well, hey, this might be the tool for you. And here's the obligatory sexy slow-mo. Okay, how about we make a round that can stick into things? If I roll some blue tack and stick a needle in it, and then cut a piece of shoelace, and stick the needle into that, and then bind it with Teflon tape. Now we have this beauty. In fact, we have four of them. Which turned out to be pure shite. So I use these ugly rejects instead. And these work much better. But I'm sticking to cans though, despite puncturing them. Good against balloons, no surprises here. What about my measuring banana? These fellas here bravely volunteered to help out. Yeah, they work great here. And it got me wondering, an air gun is sort of like a mini potato cannon, but I don't have any potatoes. You know what I do have though? It's bananas. So how is my banana cannon? Hmm, mushy. While my Lego guys were on hand, they uh, volunteered again for some target practice. Don't worry, we were using less than lethal rounds, so they were only partially injured. Thanks for your service, lads. Purple hearts all round. If you'd like to pay tribute to these brave volunteers, feel free to like or subscribe. Now, some of you might be thinking, geez, why do you have to be so destructive? Well, what if I were to tell you that while destruction is fun, this Lego gun is also actually useful. I've discovered it can do the sweeping, water the plants, Make yourself some breakfast. Sorta. Stir your tea. Squirt some ketchup on your fries. And even season your fries. And if I cleverly reverse the video clips, I can even use this thing as a handy vacuum cleaner to clean up all this mess I just made. The applications here are just limitless. Please let me know what other uses it might have. Otherwise, just like me, it's just gonna sit around looking pretty. Okay, I actually have a lot of mess to clean up here. Oh god.